Hello, my name is Alan Larson and I am a Technical Services Manager with the Reliable Automatic Sprinkler Company. Today we are going to walk through the setup procedure for the Reliable Model EX Low Pressure Dry Pipe Valve. If you haven't done so already, please take a moment to review Technical Bulletin 359, which will give you an overview of the installation and setup instructions for this valve. Unlike a conventional differential dry pipe valve, the Model EX is a mechanical valve that incorporates a built-in pneumatic actuator to release the system. The EX valve uses proven DDX valve technology, which has been field tested worldwide for over a decade. Features of the EX include an external reset, which saves time during commissioning and while doing routine maintenance. The pneumatic actuator operates in a pressure range from 8 to 28 PSI, which will reduce compressed air or nitrogen requirements while improving water delivery time. Now, I will demonstrate the step-by-step -step procedure to set up the Model EX low pressure dry pipe valve. Close the main water control valve and the push rod chamber supply valve. Close the valves supplying air or nitrogen to the system. Open the main drain valve and fully drain the system. Open all drain valves and vents at low points throughout the system, closing them when the system is fully drained. If you are resetting the system as the result of a fire, now is the time to inspect and replace any portion of the system that was subject to fire conditions. With the alarm line valve open, push in the plunger of the ball drip valve until air and water release from the alarm line, then close the alarm line valve. Open the emergency manual release valve. Push in and rotate the external reset knob counterclockwise as viewed from the front of the EX valve until the clapper releases and has lowered into position. Close the main drain valve. Open the air or nitrogen supply valve and pressurize the system until the system air pressure gauge reaches the minimum pressure specified for your system. To find the minimum pressure for your system, refer to Table A of the Model EX Valve Reset Procedure Instructions. Then, place the air or nitrogen source into automatic operation. Open the push rod chamber supply valve. Keep in mind that a small amount of trapped air and or water may discharge from the emergency manual release line into the drain. Open the main drain valve approximately two turns. With the emergency manual release valve fully open and the main drain valve partially open, slowly Open the main water control valve until water can just be heard running out of the main drain. Slowly close the main drain, stopping when water begins to flow through the emergency manual release drain line. Once a steady stream of water is flowing through the emergency manual release, close the emergency manual release valve 
allow pressure to begin building in the hydraulic side chamber of the EX valve. Note the pressure rising on the gauge. Slowly close the main drain valve until it is fully closed. If there is an accelerator on the system, reset it now per the manufacturer's instructions. Open the alarm line valve. Note that water or air may initially drain from the ball drip, but this will cease if the clapper is properly sealed. Fully open the main water control valve. Verify that the main valve is fully open and properly monitored. Secure the handle of the emergency manual release valve in the closed position with the cable ties provided with the trim. Verify that all valves are in the correct positions. Advise the owner, the authority having jurisdiction, and any other concerned parties that the system has been placed into service. Should you have any questions regarding the model EX valve, or any other products manufactured by Reliable, please call our technical services team at 1-800-557-2726 or you can reach us by email at techserve at reliablesprinkler.com. Thank you for choosing Reliable as your one source for all your fire protection needs.